What are we doing when we want to be co-located, multiple human beings in one space, working on a computer platform, working with digital and, and, and uh, manual tools, creating digital analog things? So we said, well, you know, here's the state of the art of these sorts of workplaces. This beautiful one that was exhibited at MoMA doesn't have any real computing, computation. The thing in the middle looks like a bunch of hackers' furniture, right, taken off the streets, a little bit of technology. On the right, basically a prison by Herman Miller to work in. So we thought maybe it could be more like this, something from the past, but a different interpretation of it. So we created this thing. This is about 12, 13, 14 years, inspired very much by things that were going on here. And so we worked in the very early days with software engineers at Rhino and scripted the behaviors of multiple motors and sort of came up with that simulation. You can see how old the project is. This video camera is about the state of the art back when we did this. We might have picked the wrong video camera, but you can see this is a little bit of a longer video. And that's kind of how this thing starts to work a little bit in terms of its behavior. It has all these things. So there's a lot going on. We keep layering in different dimensions of this thing, and it sort of becomes this polyphonic uh, architecture. Uh, we have six presets, so you can pick, pu uh, push one of six buttons, and you get these sort of figure configurations. You can fine tune it with IR sensors. You can move the desks around, we have contact sensors, and by moving them around, we basically have large-scale manipulatives, so that you can configure that wall by way of moving the furniture around. And then there's very low-level uh, intelligence. This is a dumb, intelligent system. It just gets that out of the way for you. And what did we learn with this? We learned that uh, how, and people, how and where people work. We learned about how to move a continuum surface, which is very complex to uh, uh, to characterize. We got some press. It was in a TV show. It's not on the IEEE homepage. It's one of the featured projects for four months. It became part of an architectural record.